paint on her face as she does on the on the picture, right? That's right. That's cute. Yeah. Uh, the air looks better, but it's surprising to see the quality and the effects that it's still having on us. Oh yeah, the air quality is uh, significantly improved from the unhealthy level tomorrow to, or yesterday to the good level today. It's amazing what a cold front can do. Let me go and show you. This is what it looks like outside right now. Yesterday we couldn't even see across the valley. Now you got the view of the mountains, some clouds, a little wind, and the sun that's out there dropping over the Wellsville Mountains. It is just beautiful up in Cache Valley and cool. Ensign Peak, yes, there's still a little bit of smoke left out in the atmosphere, but nothing like we saw yesterday. Blue skies above, skies are actually going to clear tonight, and we are looking at a really nice couple of days as we head towards the weekend and into the weekend. We do have another storm on the horizon, and that's going to drop temperatures again, but that won't come in until the first of next week. Hey, how about our high school football games? Well, game night live tomorrow, Springville at Timfew, 7 o'clock kickoff, temperatures in the 70s to start dropping into the 60s under clear skies in northern Utah. Southern Utah will go from the 80s to the 70s, but same story, it looks fantastic for all the games going on on Friday and really all the games going on on Saturday. So plenty going on over the next uh, couple of days and overall weather should be really good. As we look to the current temperatures, we're in the 60s. Logan, Salt Lake, uh, all Ogden, 69 in Provo, 70 in Price. The little tail end of the cool front is draped between Cedar City and St. George. Cedar City 75 and St. George is 90, and that's a natural elevation change too to bring that uh, difference in temperature. But look at the drop compared to this time yesterday. Salt Lake City is 19 degrees cooler. Same with Ogden, 21 cooler in Logan. We're only five degrees cooler in St. George, seven in Cedar City. So that front definitely did its job. And tonight, it is going to be chilly. We're talking below freezing up in places like Montpelier and into uh, Logan Cache Valley, some of those high mountain elevations and mid mountain elevations. It's going to be cold. Low pressure. Spinning to the north of us, the precipitation really stayed north of Salt Lake. Uh, Montpelier reported a couple of hundreds in the overnight with the little front as it came through. But that low, because it's so slow to go, we haven't seen a whole lot of uh, smoke come in from the northwest. So the low is going to gradually go east. We'll see a northwesterly flow develop Friday, Saturday. Maybe a little bit of smoke will filter in. But then we flip it to the south come Sunday ahead of our storm that will move in by Monday. So a little bit of mountain buildup on Sunday afternoon, and then this front, it gets here Monday afternoon and evening, and that changes things again. We'll see storms and another significant drop in our temperatures. So for our Friday, 75 in Nephi and Price under sunny skies, Southern Utah, 81 in Cedar City, 92 St. George. Just a really pretty Friday for September. It looks great. Seven-day forecast, St. George, 90s for the next three days, all of them below normal, then a chance for some storms Monday, and look at next week. All blue numbers, 70s and 80s in St. George, more than 10 degrees below normal for this time of year. Here's your forecast for northern Utah. Tonight, skies clear out. Tomorrow, sunny and cool, but Montpelier tonight, 28, 30 in Star Valley. Morgan drops into the 40s, but Park City into the upper 30s, and the Salt Lake Valley, upper 40s and low 50s, so it's going to be a cool night. 70s tomorrow, 80s Saturday, Sunday. Next storm gets here Monday afternoon, and we'll cool us off for Tuesday and really most of next week, Deanie, with some rain and temperatures well below normal for this time of year. Coming up at 6.30, I've got a shot of the Aurora Borealis last night that you've not seen, and it oh. is stunning. I'll have it for you in a couple I'm minutes. I'm sad I missed it. All right, thanks. You bet. All right, Sam, it's the million-dollar...